So you've seen HubSpot in action, but have you ever wondered what it takes to build a truly custom feature right inside of your CRM? In this series, we're pulling back the curtain. We'll start with a blank slate and build a contacts global availability public app card with HubSpot's UI extensions step-by-step. Step. So if you're ready to use HubSpot's UI extensions and bring your ideas to life, you're in the right place. Hey everyone, I'm Bree. I'm a developer advocate here at HubSpot. And if you're new to UI extensions or you want to explore their potential, you're in the right space and I'm here to guide you. In this demo series, we're going to build a public app card that takes the guesswork out of knowing if it's a good time to call a contact by showing their local time, their current availability, whether they're in or out of office hours, and even if they're on a public holiday. To achieve this, we'll construct a front-end UI using HubSpot's UI extensions, then we'll seamlessly connect it to our custom Next.js backend via API endpoints, and then we're going to make deployment a breeze by hosting our project on Vercel. Before we dive in, let's quickly chat about what you need to follow along. So to get started, you'll need an active HubSpot account. You'll also need a HubSpot developer account with a HubSpot developer test account. To learn more about creating your developer accounts, click the link in the description below. For development, you'll also need Node.js and Yarn installed on your machine ready to go. This video is essentially your starting point for UI extensions. We'll begin by using the HubSpot CLI to create a new HubSpot project. And from there, I'll guide you through initializing the public app designed with UI extensions. Finally, we'll explore exactly how to find and manage your project in app settings, setting the stage for all of the magic we're about to build. Now let's jump into the code. First things first, we need to get our development development environment ready. We'll start by installing the HubSpot CLI or command line interface, which is an essential tool for interacting with your HubSpot developer account. So open your terminal and navigate to your root directory and install the HubSpot CLI with NPM. This command installs the latest version of the CLI globally on your system. Once the CLI is installed, we need to authenticate it with your HubSpot developer account. So in your terminal, run HS account auth. This will open a browser window where you'll be prompted to log into your HubSpot account. Make sure that you select the correct HubSpot developer account, not your developer test account during this process, as it's where your public app is going to reside. Now that the CLI is authenticated, we're ready to run our project. In your terminal, run HS project create, and when prompted, give the project a descriptive name. Something like contact availability works great. And when we get to the project template, we're going to use CRM getting started with public apps. The CLI will then set up a basic structure for our public app card. Now let's take a quick peek at the structure of the project. The UI portion of the public app lives in source app extensions, and each card has its own React component using JavaScript or TypeScript, an accompanying JSON file, which dictates the card information, its location, where to find its corresponding React component, and which objects the card can show on within the CRM. And going one level up, we have a folder of our webhooks. We have a local.json.sample, which is going to be very handy later when we're developing our backend with Next.js. And we also have a public app JSON. Now, public app is going to be the hub for information on the entire collection of cards that are created within this project. It's also going to be the place where you whitelist URLs that can be called with inside the cards, where you set up authentication, scopes, and link the JSON files for our cards as well. Now, while we're here, let's update the name, UID, and description of our project to represent the purpose of our app. Make them clear and unique as these details are going to be visible within your HubSpot portal. So with the project structure in place, let's prepare our UI extension. Navigate to the app extensions directory, and inside, we're going to run npm install to make sure that we're installing the necessary front end dependencies for the project. Finally, we're ready to upload our initial app card. So now in your terminal again, we're going to want to run HS project upload. You might be prompted to approve the upload if this project isn't already linked to your existing app. So go ahead and approve it. This command is what deploys your UI extensions front end code to HubSpot. Now let's head over to your HubSpot developer account settings and we'll be able to see your newly created app and project listed here. This space is where you'll find the HubSpot project details for your app card. Here you can find the project details, build and deploy activity, including the build logs and settings. You can then head over to the apps tab to see a list of all of your apps. Within each one, you'll find authentication and scope details. You'll find space to update your company domain and support information. And then moving on to the monitoring tab is where you'll find logs for your API calls, webhooks, API settings, and UI extensions. All right, so that wraps up our first video. Today, we successfully set up our HubSpot project, initialized the public app with UI extensions, and got our initial project files uploaded. You also know now exactly 
exactly where to find your project and app settings within your HubSpot developer account. In the next video, we'll take it one step further by setting up OAuth for our public app, which is crucial to a secure connection between our app and HubSpot. Then we'll install our app directly onto a developer test account, and finally confirm that everything works by viewing the UI extension card live in the HubSpot CRM. For docs, the GitHub repo for this project, and more, be sure to check the description below. To make sure that you're in the know for videos like these and others for HubSpot developers, make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and have notifications turned on so you're the first to know when a new video drops. Until next time. Bye-bye.